This is a tutorial from LearnWebsiteDesign.com and it's going to cover how to create HTML forms, text fields, password fields, and submit buttons. Now to create a form you use the opening form tag and the closing form tag. Now form by itself does nothing, a form is simply a, a container for form elements. Now those form, those form elements are what accepts the user uh, submitted data and what submits the user submitted data to whatever application or script that is going to process the information. So for, exam for example if I refresh the web page you see nothing because I've only created the form and nothing else. Now when you create a form within the opening form tag you're, you're going to want to include the action attribute and the method attribute. The action attribute specifies the location and the name of the script that is going to process the information um, that is submitted to the script or application um, that is going to process the information. For example, you can put process.php, process.asp, um, whatever you choose. The method attribute is going to specify the method uh, in which the the information is sent to the script or application that is going to process the information. And there are two methods that you can use. You can use the get method or the post method. Now to create a text field, you start by using the input tag and within the input tag use the type attribute and the value for the type attribute should be text. I'm going to refresh this web page and now you have a text field. Now to create a password field, you once again use the input tag with the type attribute and the value for the type attribute should be password. I save the document and I'm going to refresh the web page and I should now have a text field and a password field. Now you can specify this, the size of both the uh, of, of both text fields and password fields by using the size attribute. For example, in this case, I'm going to give the text field a size of 30, and the password field a size of 50. I'll save the document, refresh the web page, and notice how the size of both the text field and the password field have changed. Now you can also pre-include text within uh, text fields um, by using the value attribute. And the value attribute, the value of the value attribute is going to be whatever text you want to be uh, pre-included within the text field. In this case I'm going to put your name. I'm going to save the document and I'm going to refresh the web page and notice how the text your name is pre-included within the text field. Now when I refresh the web page your name appears um, the text your name appears by default within the text field. Now to create a submit button, you start off by using the input tag. Within the input tag you use the type attribute. And the value of the type attribute should be the text uh, submit. Now I'm going to refresh this web page. I'm going to save the document first and then refresh the web page. And I, sh I should now have a submit button. 
Now notice how the submit button has a text submit query by default on there, and the text the default text uh, the submit button is going to is going to vary from browser to browser. For example, if you use Internet Explorer or Chrome, um, the default the default text is going to be different. If I want to change if I if I want to specify the value of the of the default of the text on the submit button, I use the value attribute and the text that I want to appear on the submit button is going to be the value of the value attribute. For ex example, this I'm going to put the, the the text test button as the text that should appear on the on the submit button. Now I can also you can also create a reset button. What a reset button does is that it resets the information um, that you type within a a form to uh, the default settings. Now to create a def a reset button, you use the input tag uh, with the type attribute and the and the a keyword. The value for the type attribute should be reset. I'm going to save this document. I'm going to refresh the web page, and that, and notice how I now have a reset button. Now, what a reset button does is that, let's say for example that I have the default text appears as your name. If I enter my name and I enter a password, when I press the reset button, everything goes back to default. So the text the text that appears within the text field should be should go back to being your name and the password field should go back to being blank because that's what was there by default and that's what happens